guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. I hope you are all doing well. If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. We are starting off today's video with a package from my friends at Loda. I've been working with these guys for a good kind of maybe like eight, nine, ten months now. I've been using the products for way longer than that. And they sent me a little restock some brownie stuff, some Lodo pieces as well, and they have a few surprises in store. I know a little bit, I don't know an awful lot. I've not spoken to Luke for a little while, but they have some interesting stuff coming very, very soon. Links for them and a code for them is always in the description box of every single video. So if you do ever consider picking some up, I would highly recommend, well, I was gonna say that, but all of it, basically. Today, we are gonna be starting off, well, not starting off, because we already started off, but you guys get what I mean. Oh god, here we go. It's a good start. It's early, can you tell? I've not had any food. We are going to be training. Fasted. So, welcome to the home gym. If you are new here, this is where I train on a daily basis. This is where I have made all of my crazy gains. I know what you're thinking. Wow, this guy is humongous. I want to look like him. Well, today I'm going to be taking you through a push day, one of my days on the OHP plan. Well, I'm going to take you through as much of it as possible. Push day is a push day, really. <laughs> you get the point. It's going to be a good video. Drop it a like. Let's get started. <laughs> It's called the OHP plan. The LSJ OHP plan, and it is exactly what it says on the tin. Follow this plan, and your OHP will grow. When I hit the 100 kg OHP last year, whenever it was, I can't remember when it was, when I hit that, I followed this plan, I still follow this plan to this day, and it is tailored towards building Massive freaking delts. All of it is using simple, easy to use equipment. Barbells, dumbbells, we've got some leg press in there. Simple, easy stuff. Do the basics and do them well. That is what this plan is about. We have very basic equipment in this gym. This plan is tailored to those that want to build those broad shoulders that we've all desired. Let's be honest, if we're going to the gym, we all want that. I've always wanted it. You ask Cam the cameraman or someone that I used to train with when I was younger or whatever, someone I used to play rugby with, what I've always wanted is this little, uh, this little cap here, that's what I've always wanted. And we're getting there. And this plan is helping me. So next, we're gonna move on with some more weight. And on with the tech. Okay, so, as of the time that you guys are seeing this video, gym's open in a couple of days, right? You're gonna be wanna be making them gains. A lot of you guys are gonna be thinking, where the hell do I start? Now, I made a video on that. If you scroll down through the channel, it's perfectly normal, it's perfectly understandable. A lot of people won't be knowing what the hell to do as soon as they go in. More than likely, they're gonna go in, smash chest, think yes that was sick and then have doms for a week and that's okay if that's what gets the ball rolling for you then do it but for me personally I would want to go in with a plan I'd want to go in saying right on Saturday I'm going to do this on Monday I'm going to do this Tuesday Wednesday Thursday rest day blah blah, blah whatever I want to know what I'm doing if that's you stay tuned <laughs> Exactly what it says in the tin. 
It is called the LSJ, as in me, it, it's my plan, OHP, as in like, you're gonna get a massive OHP if you follow this plan. So it's written by me and it's for the OHP, LSJ, OHP plan. Five days, right? <laughs> Long story short, it is a five day plan. Upper, lower, push, pull, legs. Or something of that variant, right? Whichever order you wanna do it in. If you wanna do lower, upper, pull, push, legs. Upper, lower, pull, push, legs. Whatever it does, it really, really, really does not matter. I can't get that across to you enough. As long as you are allowing yourself enough rest time in between muscle groups, i.e. two days, there or thereabouts, you're fine, right? And you can kind of just tailor it to your, to your week, to your routine. Pretty much what I tend to do is say, on Monday, okay, I, I feel like training legs today. And so I'll start off with legs. Whether I decide to do the lower day or the leg day, because they are two different days, two different rep ranges and all this kind of stuff. Whether I decide to do one or the other depends on how the rest of my week of training goes. Now, I don't just do that sporadically. I think, right, on Wednesday, I've got to go here. On Tuesday, I'll have time to train here. You kind of plan out your week and you can tailor your week from what is already written down for you on the plan. You can tailor it to essentially your diary, you know? <laughs> tailor it to exactly what you feel like doing at the time and then you can kind of go from there. That's what I do anyway. That's what I've done for the last 18 months when I've been following this plan. And pretty much, I would put the majority of my gains down to this plan. It is perfect. I know I'm biased, right? But it's good. raises twice a week right once slightly heavier once slightly lighter you might be thinking well why the hell would you do that because one is a pause set and then come down and one is just go bash bash okay obviously still controlled but like you get the point you get the difference the hold and then down and the one two sort of thing so that is why I wind up using around about 9 or 10 kilos once a week and around 12, 13 kilos, 14 kilos at max once a week as well. But you'll have to have a play around with things like that, figure out where you're at and especially if you've been out of the gym for a while, if you've had no home gym equipment, take your time with getting back into it, especially with something like a lateral raise because it's dead easy with a lateral raise to really, you know, shove them up like this. So. Take your time with it, take your time with all exercises. Work out a percentage of your one rep max that works for you and go from there really. You just don't wanna be pushing yourself too, too much as soon as you go back into the gym for the first time. It's just not wise, just take your time. Leave your ego at the door. I know that's easier said than done. But you'll thank yourself for it later, you know? Injuries, all that kind of stuff. At very high risk if you've not had gym for if you've not had gym, if you've not had a gym or been to the gym for like three, four, five months now. It's been a while, I know. But hey, hopefully this is a big step towards us getting back to normal, doing things that we enjoy doing, you know, going to the gym and all this kind of stuff. I can hopefully, fingers crossed over the next few weeks, start getting the best gym series back up and running, all of this kind of stuff. Hopefully, touch wood and all that, you know, Anyone else do that? When I say touch wood, instead of actually finding some wood, I just touch my head. Because, you know, it's, it's made of wood. <laughs> I know it's easier said than done, especially while I'm stood here talking to you guys from my home gym, which I've had for the entire time, right? I'm very aware of that. But please, 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 whether you're using the OHP plant or not, leave your ego at the door. Start with lower numbers and work your way back up. You've got the time. We want to be in this for the long run. If you injure yourself in the first few sessions back, what do you know? You can't go to the gym for another few weeks and then all of a sudden you lose even more gains. Take your time, people. Please, please use your head and just... <laughs> I can't explain it anymore, just please be careful. One other massive thing that I love doing, personally, 
is setting up the cables to slightly, ever so slightly above shoulder height. See my shoulders are here, the cable is here. You want to focus on where this little bobble is rather than where the actual machine is, right? So one thing I love doing is actually a, a pyramid set. Going up in weight and down in reps or vice versa. I love doing that on chest flies with minimal rest, right? The pump that you get is just phenomenal. It's absolutely incredible. I also love using these grips, which I don't actually use that often. But I found that if I'm honest, since I've got this Apple Watch, hang on. Hell not. Since I've got this watch, if I use this, it actually clashes a little bit here. So if I use these, it kind of keeps out of the way. So I do prefer using these, especially when I'm wearing this. But I'm not doing that all the time, every single time, you know? So, around about 166 or so this morning. Here's how we're looking. Man, this is the uh, the best I've felt ever, if I'm honest. Just looking at my abs non-flexed in the mirror. I know they're not really there, but they're there more so than they ever have been before. And that is progress for me. And that is all you can focus on. Too many people, especially with social media nowadays, compare themselves to these unrealistic physiques. I've talked about this a lot on the channel. They compare themselves to these things, these, these things, these people on socials who one, are not natural, two, are lying about their natural status, and three, are combining not being natural with prime genetics, right? You gotta think how many millions and millions of people are on social media. How many people actually succeed of those people? It's the people with the top physiques or someone that's as funny as Max Tuning, yeah? Nine times out of ten, it's because people are trying to obtain this physique that the person is claiming natural. And so they look up to this person's physique and they train for this person's physique on this person's plan, thinking, hmm, I'll train like that and I'll look like him when... No, you won't. All you can do is be your best you. Beat the person that you were yesterday. Cliché, all that kind of stuff. But it applies here more so than ever. I just need more size there, which is why I'm not competing yet, right? So coming across like this, the separation down here, bosh, is a lot more than before, right? But would I win a competition or look stupid on stage? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I think we all know the answer to that. That's why I'm not doing it just yet. That time will come. A few more months on the OHP plan, eh?
so hard, you have no idea. Felt that breath on me. <sighs> Sorry. Is that okay though? Yeah. Am I done now? Okay, okay. Yeah. That's, that's the old jump. You got boobs. Having said that though, I do know what a lot of you guys watching this are going to be thinking. And it's completely fair, I completely understand, right? You're going to be thinking, Liam, I don't want to grow a massive OHP, I just want to grow, you know? Well this plan is tailored for the OHP in terms of the exercises that are in the plan and the order of the exercises. For example, we started off with shoulder press today and then we moved on to bench a little bit further down. If that is not your focus, if shoulder press is not your focus, Put bench at the top if you want to grow your chest. I was speaking to a friend of mine. He is ready to go with the LSJ OHP plan, but he wants to really focus on his chest. He wants to really bring up his chest. He's got quite strong, broad shoulders anyway, right? So the biggest change that he will make is swapping the OHP to start off with, put it two or three down and put the bench at the top instead because that wants to be his primary focus, right? Simple, easy changes like that and the rest is done for you. I'm biased, but it's sick. So if getting back into the gym with a plan, with a focus, and with a goal in mind, and a free tracker, which comes with the plan, you can use the first link in the description box, lsjfitness.com, that's me, that's my website, and you can use the code YouTube. If you're still around here, like 17 minutes into the video, I appreciate you. Drop the video a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. I hope you guys have enjoyed this please go and check out the plan. It is sick, you will not regret it. You can use the code YouTube, it will save you 40% off. It's worth 15 quid the plan and you can get it for nine pounds. That will expire on Saturday. So before the gyms reopen, grab it now while you can, while it is still at that price because it will go back up to its original price after that. So thank you so much for your support. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're still watching right now, do not be shy. Hit me up if you have any questions to do with the plan and I'll be there at your beck and call as fast as I possibly can with a helpful response. Cut the thing off myself, you know? Thank you so much for your support. If you do decide to pick it up, obviously you'll be directly helping me out, helping me pay the bills, helping me fix Alison or buy a new car. Yeah. I appreciate it. Thank you so much for your support. Together we will grow. I love you all and I will see you in the next one.